Hi everyone, my name is Mustafa. I'm the founder and growth lead at No Good. Today we are going to chat about blockchain and marketing. I hate to disappoint you, this is not another crypto kitties video or how to get rich uh, with Bitcoin, but it's about the key and most important applications of blockchain and marketing. Cryptocurrencies, and especially Bitcoin, were, uh, were hot for a minute, and that minute's over. There's a, a solid technology uh, behind all of this, and that technology is blockchain. I know most of you already probably know what blockchain is. I'm going to try and define it really quickly, hopefully without throwing buzzwords at you. It's going to be hard. Blockchain is essentially a decentralized, unhackable database where everyone has a copy of the same database with no middleman whatsoever. It's programmed to record not just financial transactions like Bitcoin, but virtually everything of value. That could be an app ad delivered, that could be contract signed, music played, a record at a hospital that was changed. Any of these transactions will be recorded in the blockchain and everyone has access or copy of the same database essentially. So why should we care or what makes blockchain uh, a unique technology? There are a few massive pains in marketing and advertising where blockchain is uniquely positioned to help. These issues quickly are data collection and privacy, ad fraud, data quality and reporting integrity, display ads and how annoying they can be, also ad delivery, frequency and timing, which is kind of, you know, you can combine it with the third one. Let's break these issues down and see how blockchain could be the solution for some of these issues. Starting with ad fraud, one of the biggest issues for brands and publishers in the ad space is the lack of transparency and accountability on how ad dollars are being spent. Ad fraud is common, a lot more common than I thought. It costs marketers millions and billions of dollars each year. Forster reports that 56% of all display ad dollars were lost to fraudulent inventory in 2016. The cost of ad fraud in 2018 alone is expected to reach $20 billion. And that's about 40% of Facebook's ad revenue in 2017. Facebook is the second largest ad platform in the world. Almost 50% of ads on IE were for non-human traffic in 2017. So major brands and big ad spenders like PNG cut their ad budget because their agency can provide the transparency and reporting they needed. So blockchain could potentially end this. Um, it can make advertising more transparent by validating and analyzing every consumer's journey through verified ad delivery, uh, confirming that a real person and not a bot actually saw the ad. Marketers will be able to control how their assets are being delivered, monitoring exactly how their ads are being placed, ensuring proper ad engagement tracking, which will lead to uh, better attribution and efficient ad spending overall. Another really big problem in the marketing and advertising space is that everyone hates ads. Most ads, uh, maybe not the cool, expensive, Super Bowl ones, right? But we all hate ads, display ads, YouTube ads. No one likes ads, right? There are too many of these ads out there. And the reason why there are too many of them is that marketers don't really know what we want. Uh, they don't know what stage of the buying process we are. So there is a saying in marketing, we say, you know, let's throw it at the wall and see what sticks. Guess what the wall is? The wall is you. We throw it at you and see what works and what doesn't. And that's how it works nowadays. Surprisingly, in this data-driven world, this is what we do. The problem manifests itself when you see the same display ad for an hotel following you from one website to another, even though you already made a booking for the same hotel two days ago. I'm sure we've all been there, right? This is where blockchain technology can come in and prevent the same display ad from being overserved to anyone, ensuring that optimal frequency of ad serving uh, for each consumer. There are some serious flaws in display ads the way it is. From the perspective of advertisers, they can be expensive, low engagement, complicated to understand and manage. Also, the inventory is only limited to two companies or primarily limited to two companies, Facebook and Google. The issue is display ads from the user's perspective is known to all sides. Display ads are intrusive, annoying, and everyone hates them. Brandon Each, the creator of JavaScript, co-founder of Firefox, founded a blockchain startup to tackle exactly this problem. He founded the Brave Blockchain Browser and BAT, which stands for uh, Basic Attention Token. And the goal here is to change the way users interact with ads. Brave and BAT simply break up the current monopoly on digital advertising by allowing publishers, advertisers to trade on the value of users' attention while also compensating the users using the BAT token. Users also get to choose uh, which ads they like and uh, opt in the categories they like. It's a win-win for all parties. Marketers get better ad performance data and targeting. Uh, publishers get better revenue and control over their the ads they display. Users get a fewer, better ad quality and uh, they also get compensated for their attention and data. And their data is also encrypted in the blockchain. This kind of advertising utopia could make marketers think more about their ads and, and 
whether consumers really like it or not, uh, would they actually opt in for this type of ad or not, and be more, uh, I guess, customer centric, as we like to say. A big problem in the marketing advertising space is data collection and privacy. To access the internet, you go through traditional gatekeepers such as uh, ISPS, uh, web browsers, and social media platforms. Uh, these companies can learn almost everything we do online, from the sites we have been through, the content we read, and who we are talking to. We're a little naive in the past decade, thinking that uh, these good young tech bros will always uh, have our best interest and provide us fair access and protect our data. Uh, but oh, this is not the case. And unless you were under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of the data breaches, Cambridge Analytica, and how our personal data can be sold and used by different parties. Blockchain could be a solution for this. A good example of a blockchain startup trying to solve the data privacy problem is Blockstack. It's a network built on blockchain and introduces itself as the new internet for decentralized apps. Because Blockstack is built on the blockchain, your personal data remains with you instead of existing with a platform or a server somewhere. Uh, so visiting a site or using an app is like inserting a key into a lock. You keep your personal copy with you at all times. And once you place it into a lock, you can take it out whenever you want and you give each and every app the access whenever you need to. So Blockstack essentially gives data ownership back to the user. Consider how marketing would change if marketers didn't have that easy access they have to all user data right now. It's important to remember that some of these scenarios are for ideal cases and early stage technology that is still under development. Uh, blockchain though is here to stay. Uh, some of the brightest minds are working on the space. Facebook recently started a blockchain team. Uh, they moved the former head of Messenger and the former VP of uh, Instagram, two of the brightest minds in the company, to this team. And many companies are building blockchain teams and many startups are raising a ton of money in the space. And uh, blockchain is here to stay and will certainly impact marketing. Thank you and see you soon.